Great, another friend with a YouTube video idea. Wait a minute. I could use that experimental glue that that guy sent me a year ago. Maybe he'll stop emailing me every month to see if I've tried it out yet. This could work. Thanks, buddy. Anytime, buddy. All right, well, we're getting ready for the repair. And just so I don't look like a total clown here, we're gonna test out the glues before I head over to Phone Booth Joe's house. This is my tried and true glue that I've been using for eight years. 2P10 makes it. And basically it's like a crazy glue with an activator. You put the crazy glue on, you activate the opposing side, put them together. It's an instant tack. I love this glue, use it for all kinds of things. This is the new experimental glue that Philip sent me from Starbond. And I've used it a couple times. It doesn't seem like it sets up quite as fast as this stuff, which may be a bit of a problem. So before we actually glue the crown molding on over at Phone Booth Joe's house, we're gonna test it out. To do that, I've cut some miter pieces here and then we'll do a strength test. We'll put two miters together and then we'll just try to break them apart to see if there's any kind of a structural difference between the two glues. So let's get serious here and make a nice miter joint out of each of the glues. Plan for keeps. Put some glue on there, make sure we get enough on. Accelerator. Hold that nice and tight for 10 seconds. That's set up pretty decent. Let's Try the star bond. Pretty exciting times around here. <laughs> Waiting for glue to dry. All right, that's been about 20 seconds. We don't have all day. My thumb got stuck to the outside, <laughs> no big deal. So let's give those, uh, we'll give them two minutes and then we'll just test out the strength to see if there's any difference there. So the glue has set up. We're gonna do team 2P10 fast cap first. We've got our NASA scientific force testing setup all complete here. We just clamped it down and I'm gonna use a fish scale, hook it on there and we'll get the camera to read how much force it takes to break the miter apart. So team 2P10, here we go. Yeah, about 3.6 kilograms of force to rip apart the 2P10 miter. The weakest point is just this cardboard MDF that we're using here. The glue didn't actually rip apart, but it ripped apart the miter joint. Team 2P10, job well done. Starbond, you're up. Let's see what you got. Yeah, right around the same. Again, the weak point is the MDF. So these glues are holding pretty much both the same. We're gonna give Team Starbond some shine. We're gonna head over to my buddy's place and see if this can fix up his crown molding that's fallen. So we're at the scene of the crime. It looks like there was some drinking and chin-ups involved here. This piece of crown molding is ripped off of the top cabinet. If you had a nail gun, you could definitely just nail this back on, but we're gonna get creative. We're gonna try the Starbond Accelerator two-part glue. So I'm gonna show you how to get that done here. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is pull out any nails that are left over from the accident. And then one thing to check here too is there could be some dried on glue. So you wanna kinda of give that a little bit of a scrape. This little red bar or a knife will work. Just scrape that off a little bit. And then key thing here, anytime you're gonna be using this instant setting glue, you wanna have a little dry run. Get it in place. So it's gonna be key to kind of get this gap lining up pretty good there. Get that miter together. Yeah, I think it's gonna look pretty good there. This stuff sets a little slower than the 2P10. You're gonna have about 10 seconds to really kind of get it lined up perfectly. 
and then we're going to want to just freeze hold it. We're going to hold this for about 60 seconds just so nothing goes wrong. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to work good. So let's do it. All right, Philip. I think that's your name. You've sent me 17 emails about the free glue. We're going to see if it works. We're going to glue this baby up. We'll see how strong it is. And if it's a viable option for millions of people to buy some of this glue off Amazon, affiliate links in the description below. Shameless plug. The bullets are about to fly here. This is something I've learned over eight years of using this instant set glue. Once you start getting it on and spraying things, your heart's going to start pounding and you're going to get nervous. What I like to do is just breathe slow, take a deep breath. Keep calm, keep your fingers still. You've practiced the fit, and it's just a matter of executing. So we're gonna do it. It's game time. It's game seven. All right, let's do this thing. Get the glue on here. Just gonna keep it towards the back of the miter. It's already coming out there a little bit. Some along the cabin here. Healthy amount along here just because sometimes these cabinets end up sagging down. That's good. I'm gonna put a little piece of painter's tape so the spray doesn't get on the bottom. We're gonna get the activator on here. Healthy amount. All right. Deep breath. Okay. Keep, calm. Keep calm. Keep your fingers Keep still. Your fingers You've, still. Practiced You've practiced the fit, practiced the fit. and it's just a matter of executing. Matter of executing. So we're gonna do it now. It's game time. It's game seven. We don't have all day. Deep breath. Deep breath. It's game time. It's game seven. The bullets are about to fly here. Is this gonna work? I don't know. Will I have to throw this video in the garbage and make something else? I will tell. Yeah, I think it's gonna look pretty good there. Hold on nice and tight for 10 seconds. Pretty exciting times around here. Thumb got stuck to the outside, no big deal. All right, let's see here. Ooh, holding beautifully. I think the fix was a success. And hey, if you own kitchen cabinets, eventually one of these doors is gonna just fall off. I got a perfect little glue up video for that to fix it. If you wanna check that out, it's right up here. Thanks for watching. My thumb's stuck onto one little part here. I think that's a little bit of my thumb skin on there. So hey, if you want to grab one of these t-shirts, I messed that up already, head on over to thefunnycarpenter.com. Click, 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 delivered to your door.